Babes, I wanted to ask, hindi alam ng lahat, pero ikaw yung joker. You're Mr. Funny Guy. Pero how do you manage, you know, balance between being the funny guy, pero pagkailangan ka maging leader on the court ng agawa mo? Hindi ko nga alam eh. <laughs> Kasi... Champion. Di, di, Champion. Uh, talagang mapabiro talaga kung tao kahit sa practice, kahit nagagalit na si coach. Parang... Gusto ko talaga, ano, parang masaya eh. Parang... Mm. Lalong ganado yung practice. Pag kinukulit ko lahat, parang gano'n, nanggugulo ako. Hindi ko alam sa game, ba't nagkaganon, nagsisigaw-sigaw ako, hindi ko alam. Siguro natural na lang lumalabas. Pero hindi ko talaga feel na gano'n, talagang mapiro lang nila. Siguro sa game, nagagalit nang hindi ko alam bakit. Pero masalamat na ako sa teammates ko kasi naiintin kahit mga assistant coach, coach. Pag alam ko nagkakamuli, ah, mga gano'n. Pero hindi ko naman intend na gano'n, yeah. parang gusto ko lang manalo. Pero pag after ng game, parang tao na naman ang tao. Chill lang. Hindi ko alam. Chill. Siguro ganun lang siguro talaga. Talaga when you're on the court, ibang tao ka talaga. Kasi oh. the number one goal is manalo. Oh, man. Champion. 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 <laughs> It's okay, bro. And also, I wanted to ask, saan nang galing yung babes? From Robert, babes, what happened? So kasi dati, pag tinawag ako ng babae, hey babes, ball. parang babes. So girlfriend niya, hey babes, hi. Parang maganda, maganda yung tunog. Para walang huli. Oo, oh, para walang huli. Uh, pag may tumawag sa text MVP, hindi, oh, ganun talaga tawag. Yeah. <laughs> so, kailan yung nag-start yung tawag sa yung babes? Hindi ko alam. Dati pa, wala pa akong girlfriend. Yan na talaga yung inisip kong ilagay. Babe. So, ikaw talaga yung nag-name sa sarili mo na oh, babes? sa Twitter, Instagram. Ginawa ko dati. Kaya wala pa akong father sa high school. Babe? Yan na talaga yung ilagay ko. And the mustache, parang signature na yan. Lucky charm ba yan? Oo. Oh, since birth, ganito na talaga. Ayaw ko kasi gano'n kasi dati pagkata... Um, pinanganak ko nang... Nagkakasakit daw sa pag tinanggal niya. <laughs> Parang Samson? Parang pinanganak ko... Lumaki mga 8 months. Gan... Bland talaga yung buho ko. Sobra. Parang kano talaga. Tapos after nun, medyo binigyan ako... Nakahawak ko na scissors. Naputol ko yung ano. So, nung pinaano ako, nawala lahat. Galit na galit tatay ko, hindi na daw ako kano. Uh, hindi, na daw, hindi na daw ako anak niya. Ganun. So, nung lumaki ako, tas medyo bland pa, naisip ko, ayaw ko na tanggalin to. Baka pag pinuto ko itim, nawawala na yung pag-Amerikano. Kaya, di, kasi alam, pinoy na ako pure-blooded. Yeah. Eh. Dito na ako na tao sa so, ormok lahat. It's okay, bro. <laughs> And speaking of hair, Mike, tell us about your dreads. Shush! Uh, I've been wanting to get dread for a long time already. Yeah. So, I think I went home with my wife two years ago. Mm-hmm. And when I went home, I had to you know, clean up and shave so that my parents won't get mad at me. Yeah. So, when I came back, I let it grow for a year and then I found the person. It's my wife, actually, that found the, the guy to get to do my dreads. How do you maintain that? Uh, <laughs> I have a spray and I use shampoo. I have a spray that I use almost every day and then I comb it. And then, like, once a week, I wash it. So much work. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to hard work. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of, you mentioned a while ago your wife. Mm. How did you meet your wife? How did that love story begin? Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> Cue theme song. Uh, we was plus one. So I had a friend that was going to in a date yeah. with her friend. And then she asked my friend to bring a friend. And then she so you got set up. Friend. Yeah, so it was plus one, plus one. Yeah. So when we arrived, we just talked to each other, and she was different from the girl that I was usually used to see. What, what do you mean? <laughs> you know, I, of course, I was I was a party boy, so I was used to see the very hyper type of Filipina mm-hmm. that like to party and go out yeah. and do stuff. But my wife, she's more calm and reserved. It was complete opposite of what we used to. So, and she <laughs> and she helped me to you know be a better guy. Yeah. And also, babes, how long have you been together with Chang Abi? Five years now. Five years. Five. Pero ang resident love guru natin dito si Mike. So, Mike, can you give these two bachelors a tip when it comes to love? <laughs> I should give you a tip. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Listen to me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, when it comes to love, you have to go with the flow and listen to your partner. Amen. Or pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Or pretend. <laughs> you can which way you want. Listen to her all the time, most of the time, <laughs> sometimes. How do you prevent conflict? How about conflict? Um, Or is it she's here right now? <laughs> um, I'm, tr- I'm trying to, to listen to what, what she's saying. 
because when we first met, most of the time we had we, we wasn't fighting, but we wasn't understanding each other properly. To the point where we was talking about the same thing in a different way. So you know we had to communication is key. Yeah, learn about each other, understand yeah. each other, and talk. So agree, naman kayo sa mga advice ni Mike. Communication Thank is you, key. Thank you, Kuya <laughs> Mike. For you guys, just to wrap this all up, can you give us a fearless forecast of NCA next season, season 95? Okay, hinga muna. Tingnan natin. Ako, ano? Siyempre, laban pa din. Let run. Kahit na wala nang Bong Quinto, wala nang JP Calvo, Taladua, and Bandresa, siguro naman yung adjustment nila mahaba naman yung ano, preparation ng season. So, yun. Uh, let run pa din. Kahit na nandito yung dalawang malakas. Sana lahat ng team mag ano mag improve kasi mag para up. maganda yung ano season next season season 95 masarap manood And ngayon alumni na kayo eh Oh ganun ganun kami tas big screen bong kito <laughs> diba How about for you babes Syempre uh, San Beda pa rin and feeling ko ganun pa rin eh pero pag uh, yung San Sebastian yeah. papasok yan mm-hmm. kasi wala na yung ano nila manggugulo yung team na yan Binil din, maganda yung pinakita. So, feeling ko next year, mas, mas balance. Mas maganda. Mas maganda yung laban. And that's, of course, for those aspiring basketball players, those young ones na talagang <coughs> pangarap na mapunta sa posisyon nyo ngayon. Can you give some inspiring, encouraging messages to them? Uh, pag may pangarap ka, huwag kang tumigil. Kung maga, huwag mong i-compare yung talent na binigay sa'yo sa iba. Kung ano yung talent mo, improve mo lang, improve. Then, makinig ka sa coaches mo, Then, huwag mo kakalimutan yung mga taong kasama mo sa hirap oh, hanggang sure. sa saya. So, yun. Uh. Sa akin, uh, sa lahat ng feeling nila, tapos na. Sipag lang kayo and wala namang ano eh. Wala namang, wala namang bayad yung pangarap eh. Um, lahat pinagtatrabahuan yan. So, kung magdasal ka lang ng maayos tapos... Hindi lang puro dasal, tapos hindi ka nagtatrabaho, ha? Dapat, pag nagdasal ka, trabahuhin mo ng maayos. Kasi, the future, magbubunga din lahat yan. And mm-hmm. Huwag kang makinig sa mga tao nagsasabing hindi ka gagaling. Uh, kinig ka lang sa sarili mo, kung feeling mo magaling ka, prove mo lang yan. And... At last, Mike? Um, Tagalog. <laughs> One Tagalog. Um, speak in your language. French? Yeah. <laughs> Speak in your language. So that you want to understand. <laughs> uh, for me, um, put God first and always stick to hard work because hard work pays off. And, you know, keep on living your dream because dreams do come true. And once you see the improvement in yourself, stay grounded, stay humble because the moment that you're going to start feeling your faith and try to be arrogant, that's how quick everything can do that here. Thank you guys for being here, for sharing your stories, Babes, Bong, and Mike. And I hope I get to see you guys here again when you're drafted. And maybe if you're a plan to return to NCAA. Maybe. <laughs> so God bless on your future endeavors sa PBA or sa MPBL. And I'm excited to see what God has in store for you guys sa career niyo. Thank you. And thank you for joining us here in the show. See you again next time. Again, I'm Denise Densai, and this is The Score. Yeah.